Welcome back to Kick It With Bobby Joe. I'm continuing my garden fresh cooking with stuffed purple bell peppers. I've had a lot of purple bell peppers in the garden, so I've been trying to cook them up before they go bad. So today I'm going to show you how I stuff them. Now you can use any type of bell pepper for this recipe. It doesn't have to be purple peppers. That's just what I grew the most of this year and they seem to be loving this Tennessee heat. So to start with, you want to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And I have a roll of Jimmy Dean sausage. You can use whatever brand you like. I just always buy what's on sale. Put the sausage in the skillet over medium heat and use your spatula to cut it into smaller pieces. And while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and wash and slice up three tomatoes. And then I peel one small Vidalia onion and I wash it and slice it up as well. Then in a small pot, bring one cup of water and one teaspoon of olive oil to a boil. Then add in a half a cup of white rice and then reduce the heat to low and cover. Okay, let's check on the sausage. It's looking and smelling good. Now I'm going to add in the onions, tomatoes, and one tablespoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to mix it all up and I'm going to let it simmer. Next, I wash the peppers and now I'm going to clean them out. And I'm only using six peppers. There's only two of us so we don't need any more than six peppers. And after I've cleaned them out, I go ahead and I rinse them off again. And I'm also washing a few fresh basil leaves and oregano leaves and I cut up the basil leaves. Now let's go back to the sausage. I'm going to add in the oregano and basil. I'm going to mix it all together. and then I'm going to pour in the rice, mix it all together. I'm not going to need much of this to stuff the peppers with. I cooked extra because it will make a few extra meals this week. You can wrap this in a tortilla shell and have a burrito. You can leave it just like it is and it makes a delicious meal. It's also a good side dish, so we'll be eating on it for a few more days. I line my baking dish with parchment paper just because stuffed peppers always overflow and this will make cleanup a lot easier. I use parchment paper a lot when baking things in the oven. Now if you want your peppers to stand up straight you can cut off the bottoms to make them even all around. I don't care if they tilt. They can lean up against each other and kind of hold each other up. Once they're in the dish, brush olive oil over the peppers. Then get a spoon and start filling the peppers with the sausage and rice mixture.
Once the peppers are filled, pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add cheese to the top and bake an additional 5 minutes until the cheese is melted. Then remove from the oven and let it cool a couple of minutes and then serve. Purple peppers turn green when they cook. They went in purple and they came out green. These are a sweet pepper and they make really good stuffed peppers. Steve doesn't like bell peppers. Well, let's say he doesn't like green bell peppers. I think he may like these though because they have a totally different flavor than green bell peppers. We will see. Here is his review of the peppers. The bell peppers are good. They had a good flavor to them, had good texture, they were juicy, and uh, I really enjoyed them. I would definitely eat them again. And luckily we had some left over. Drill worthy? Absolutely. You always forget to say it's drill worthy. I gave you two thumbs up. How many rating systems do we have going here? Bobby Joe's got the drill worthy. And he's the drill worthy. Well, Bobby worthy. Joe couldn't eat them because they had onions in them. Drill worthy patch of approval. That's why she's depending on you. Drill worthy stamp of approval. Does it get the drill worthy stamp of approval? Sure. Okay, you can do the two thumbs up again now. No, I've already done it. Come on, let's do it one more time. My tea's good too. Yeah, I'll have to do a video on your tea. He has special tea. Special tea! <laughs> well, there you have it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I've got everything from junk food to healthy food to dog treats to backyard birding videos. There's something for everyone. <laughs> y'all have a blessed week.